Welcome to the first snowshoeing for 2024. We've just hiked from the Guthaka car park at Perisher in Australia. Now we can put the snowshoes on. There's a bit more snow now. So snowshoes give you a bigger surface area and more grip to stop you falling through the snow. It's a perfect eco sport, walking on snow on your own steam. Beautiful, look at this beautiful blue sky, bluebird day. That's a Guthaka car park down there where we started. No snow at the Guthaka Ski Resort up here. That's closed at the moment. But there's snow here, hooray! Time for morning tea. I haven't eaten since 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, God! Mmm! How is this for a morning tea spot? Beautiful. Oh, it's just a beautiful day today. Magic weather. Might not be much snow at the ski resort, but there's plenty of snow here for us. Beautiful snow gums here. Some have been burnt, but others are coming back. It takes years for these to grow. Keep watching to see if you make it up to the summit. We're almost there. Just when we thought we were there, there's another summit up there. Not quite there yet. See Guthaka there, it faces north, catches a lot of sun, and that's why a lot of the snow's melted. Over here, it's southerly facing, less melt. North, that direction towards the sun. So that's Mount Tate up there. I don't know if it comes out on camera, but all the snow there's little snow crystals, all rainbow coloured, looks fantastic. Onwards and upwards, almost there. Just look at those rock formations, so good. Not many people make it up here, you have to go back country well away from the ski resort. So good. You have to have the right gear, emergency equipment, personal locator beacons, etc. up here. Got to be prepared. Hooray! It's time for lunch. Beautiful scenic spot up here. Made it to the top. I think we'll go behind the rock, there's a bit of wind. A bit of wind, so behind the rock would be more sheltered. Well, what a view for lunch, absolutely fantastic. We're heading back down now, getting rugged up, it's getting colder and windier. A bit of bad weather's going to come through this afternoon. Got the better gloves, nice and warm now. Let's make it all the way down, maybe have a nice coffee up at Guthaka in the cafe. Let's get going. Only a little bit frozen here. 
invested water. Just look at these gnarly trees. Got some animal tracks here. And some human tracks. I reckon it's an arctic hare or something. Little bunny rabbit. And there's a car park down there. It's a lot easier going downhill than uphill. The snow's starting to peter out now, so I just enjoy the last little bit. And then we'll have to take the snowshoes off and start walking. I reckon past those trees, we'll have to take them off. Still managed to stay on the snow for a bit longer. It's going to run out soon. You can see the icy Guthaka pondage down there. And we'll walk all the way back to the car park. So snowshoeing is a great activity. It's easy to learn if you can walk, you can snowshoe, you don't need as much skill as skiing. And it's a great eco sport, nice and eco friendly, taking your time going through the beautiful wilderness. So that was great for day one of snowshoeing, mostly on snow, a little bit of bushwalking at the bottom here until we got up higher, but everyone had a good time. Pretty good weather, it can be changeable, got a bit colder in the afternoon, but that's fine. About eight kilometers of walking. Time to head back to Jindabyne and relax. Welcome to day two of snowshoeing. We're gonna to go to Porcupine Rocks, leaving from the Perisher Ski Resort. Might get some snow, a bit more wind today. So, got the goggles, neck warmer, more rugged up today. Ski slopes are up there, but we're heading in the other direction. So following the orange poles along the creek. And we went around there. Up to the Porcupine Trail sign. We'll head out this way. Hooray! It's snowing now. So I've got to put the camera away. I don't know if you can see the snow coming down. Snow! Decision time, so Porcupine Rocks, you can go the shorter way this way, or a longer way this way. So you're gonna do the shorter two kilometer route this way to Porcupine Rocks. If you left your beanie, it's right here on the Porcupine Rocks Trail. Off to our right, we've got the Wheatley Link Trail and Parish Gap. We're going to keep going straight ahead to Porcupine Rocks. Still a bit of snow, it's not too windy, not too cold, about zero degrees. It's still a pretty pleasant day. Rock formations look fantastic. You might be able to see the snow. Porcupine rocks, 290 metres that way. So it's a porcupine rocks area up there. Looks like we're not going to go right up to the top in case the weather comes in. It's a change of plan. We're going to head over to the right, to the west, to the Mount Wheatley area. Eventually getting back to Parish. Looks like some fox tracks here. Just like wedding cake rock here. Look at that layer of snow on top of the rock. <laughs> oh, 
it's time for lunch now in these beautiful trees. We've made it back to Perisher now, so time to take the snowshoes off and get a special treat over there. You'll have to wait to find out what that is. There's about seven kilometers walking today, good day, up the porcupine, rocks, trail, and coming back off track past the Wheatley Link, back to Perisher. Photograph, you better have these in the picture as well. <laughs> are these special? What are they? Just special, just icing. 